Hello, I'm Hayden Trapp, and I was wondering about uh, the relationship between drama moss growth and the size of substrate you grow it in. Oftentimes, um, planters in aquariums or aquascapers will use sandy substrates from the bottom of their tanks, and they grow these beautiful plants. And I was wondering, is there a reason behind that, or is it just because they think it looks good? So, I knew that java moss can grow on pretty much any surface, but I, uh, I hypothesized that it would grow the same in all different uh, substrates because the nutrients that java moss needs to grow, like um, carbon dioxide and sunlight and other things, that doesn't come from the substrate. So to do this experiment, I set up three different substrate sizes here, put three different uh, java mosses in there, and after a week, I, these are my results. I found that the small rock, uh, or the medium-sized substrate, actually grew the most. Um, it only grew one uh, millimeter larger than the sandy substrate, and the uh, large substrate, the large rock substrate, actually grew the least. It only grew five millimeters compared to the eight and nine millimeters of the other two. That was kind of surprising to me. So my hypothesis was wrong in that respect. I also found several errors in my experiment by the time I was done. Um, one of which was this little guy right here. That's a snail, and those often come with aquarium plants, and they can be an issue because they will eat the roots of the plants and kill them. That would also explain why I found some yellow areas in my java moss. Uh, other things I would probably do differently would make my water dispersal more even in my tank, because the filter was on one side, and I would also probably add CO2, because CO2 can really help plants grow. I also didn't have any fish in there creating CO2, so my plants probably didn't have a whole lot. So, in the end of this conclusion, uh, my conclusion for this experiment would be that uh, in the end, you can really use whatever substrate you want, but smaller substrates do work better. And uh, real life applications for this can be used in things like this. This person here has created an aquascape using entirely java moss. And so, he used a smaller gravel in there, and you can see that there really is practical reasons why.